Hello, in this video we're going to look at a solution to this erase 2 problem from coding back called sum 13. So we're going to return the sum of the numbers in the array returning 0 for an empty array, except the number 13 is very unlucky, so it does not count and the numbers that come immediately after 13 do not count. So if we look at an example here, I see I have no 13s there, so I just have to add all the elements. No 13s here, so I just add all the elements. And in this case, I have a single 13 here, so I'm going to add everything except for the 13 and the number immediately following it. So in this case, we just ignore this 13 here. Now, I'm going to do this problem incorrectly first, and I'm just going to simply find the sum, because this is a really good algorithm you want to develop. So to, to calculate the sum of an array, I simply make an integer, set it to 0, and we write our standard loop that goes through every element. So this is our standard loop that's going to look at every element in the array, and then it's just going to add it to the sum. Of course, it's right sometimes, so it deals with any case when I have no 13s, but any of the cases where there is a 13, we have to, we have to ignore the 13 and the number immediately after it. So attempt one simply finds the sum. Now attempt two, we're not we're still not going to be right, but we're gonna kind of refine this a little bit, is we're gonna ignore any 13. So how do I do that? To do that, I'm gonna put my my line of code that adds the element inside a conditional statement. So I'm gonna say if nums at i is not equal to 13, then I'm gonna add it. So now this is a situation where I, we're only going to add the number to sum if it's not equal to 13. And I hit go, and sure enough, that works. So again, see how our, our third test case here works correctly because it just simply has to ignore 13. But the problem with this is that we want to ignore the 13 in the number immediately after it. Now, there's a couple ways you could, get, you could do this, but I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way. And it's also going to take advantage of a really nice feature of Java that you don't have in Python. So attempt three, we're going to ignore any number after 13 by incrementing the counter. Because what happens is, let's look at this example here. I'm going to add that, not 13, not 13, add it. That's a 13, so if I just run this loop the way it does, what happens is the counter continues onto here. But if what I do is that when I find a 13, I force the counter up by one, when we get to the end of the loop, it's gonna increment it one more and skip that following number. So what I can do here is I'm gonna add an else down here, i is equal to i plus one. And this seems like not a big deal, but what it does is, is it kind of adds a, a skip. So if I find a 13, I'm going to add one right away, and then I'm going to add another one when I get to the loop, thereby skipping that element. And there it is. This is a really nice feature because you can't do this in Python. You cannot modify a counter in Python because of the way it compiles. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.